still think they'll, they'll, play, they'll be able to play some good football as well. Should be a good afternoon then. And we will be enjoying it all in the company of our commentary team. I've seen a few taps off in the crowd, and I'm hoping it's not that way. Up with you guys, Andy Walker alongside Ian Crocker. You really wouldn't want to see that, Ailey. Thank you very much. Last season's championship champions take on last season's premiership champions. Kilmarnock are back in the big time after just one season away. Celtic are aiming to extend their unbeaten run in the Scottish Premiership to a whopping 35 matches. The Monarchs were facing Rangers and Ibrox last weekend, now they're hosting Celtic. An early back-to-back -back old firm double on their return to the top flight. This is back in the champions Celtic Lafferty and Morris Yens. Yens. Come into a bit of a tangle there with Lafferty and straight down. It is, but I think any club coming up for the championship, they're always going to find it. O'Reilly tried to pick out Kyogo, and then Piosu with the challenge that left Kyogo grounded. to go, there's a minor trying to sneak in and it is a corner, offside, Greg Taylor. I think he was reluctant to play at David Turnbull, I think he, he thought that Taylor had drifted too far forward. You can see him here as he turns, he sees it pass but... He... Passing after that, oh, that unfortunate moment. Has picked out Maida, Kyogo waiting for the delivery! Well that didn't take long! For a goal made in Japan once again. Maida with the cross, Kyogo with the finish. Celtic ahead at Rugby Park inside seven minutes. Yeah, it's the killer ball inside the fullback that gets Celtic in behind. And it's a really good pass. I think when you see the position there of Fraser Murray, I think he's sleeping. By all means, get the ball out wide. But he lets it come inside. Credit to Maida, he makes that run. And so unselfish here. Right across the goal for a one-touch finish from Kyogo. But it's Fraser Murray caught out of position, allowing Celtic to get in behind. And no surprise that they take advantage. And only sure get to this. No, he can't. Can go to Riley instead. Now it's Jota wreaking havoc once again. And Jota linking up. And Jota. Jota, up against Dorp. <laughs> Sam Walker. The Kelly fans have really taken to him, and no wonder. Lafferty waiting for the cross, but it's stopped by Carter Vickers. Well, he had options in the... And so many attacking options on the bench as well, with Abada and Yates. He was able to clear it. Chase is on here. And Juranovic, and he's won his battle. <laughs> He's going to be brought back for a free kick. Yeah, Juranovic complaining to the referee. Powers cross is inviting. It's off. Can't have a for a corner, but that will give Kilmarnock plenty of encouragement. Yeah, that's what they need. A better quality ball. And Power delivers it here. Right. Taken by Kilmarnock's player of the year last season. Lafferty and Taylor among those showing interest. Carter Vickers, oh, they haven't dealt with it actually. Lafferty gets no power. Off. And that's heading wide. Oh, I think Joe Hart knew it. Yeah, he pulled away from that, Joe Hart. Both sets of players taking a breather, having a drink. Yeah, I think. Well, there. Goal kick. Team with Juranovic. Towards Kyogo, he left it. Jota coming in, but the flag was up for offside. You know, Jota trying to get involved in the game, coming off the line, trying to get into the box. You can see him here on the far side, up against. Turnbull goes for the curl up, but gets very little curl on it. And Juranovic has picked him out, and Jota's cross just too high for Turnbull. Maida, but rugby park. Kilmarnock as well, Fraser Murray's cross. 
in. Kicked alive here by Taylor. Played by Taylor. I thought he might have got a shot away there, Greg Taylor. Certainly got himself inside the ball. Turnbull. We'll have a go here. They provide yet another assist. Not on this occasion, it's over. Yet. Jota taking this on! He's only got to produce another absolute stunner! A sparkling start to the season from Jota! And another memorable strike! Well, is it better than the one he scored at Parkhead against Aberdeen? The control in this power. I mean, it's such a difficult skill. Comes back to him here. Maida just finds him, and he takes one touch and knows immediately that he's going to pull the trigger. But from that distance, where is he? 30 yards out. Man in front of him. Oh, I think the goalkeeper, Sam Walker, could do better. But then again, the power of... Pass, Kyogo, Jota's in again. And this time, Walker saves it. Killer pass right inside Dorset. It kills Dorset. And Jota's on the move. Look at him wide here. But he wants it in behind. Dorset is sleeping. And this is a good... Aberdeen, all three assists for Ross County. And another... Trump for the spectacular... Here's David Turnbull in plenty of space. It's deflected and collected by Walker. I think what you're seeing here is a team Celtic hungry for goals. Fraser Murray looking to make it happen. Jota. And Jota is fouled, and that's going to be a yellow card for a few of those for Liam Donnelly. Well, it's important, Commander, keep their discipline. They must feel as though they're not in the game. Already had a yellow card with Mackenzie. Donnelly there, just a silly foul. No need for it. There's a Murray. Sure. Riley just floated in. Away by Tate and Callum McGregor. And it's a brilliant overhead for Morris Jens. What an impact he's made. Fitting straight into the Celtic shirt. Two goals in two games. And Celtic roar into a 3-0 first half lead. Yeah, this is down to his, his own agility and athleticism. As the ball comes, comes at him unexpectedly here. One touch and there's a big bounce. And he knows immediately what he has to do. He's on the turn. Look at Jota. Um, Callum Waters puts it away for a corner. Yeah, it was before the break. David Turnbull it is to send it in. It's over and out from Carter Vickers, who did weigh in with four goals last season. Yeah, right into the danger area. Players on the move, but... Two quick players. And if the Oceans make contact, it will be a free kick. Well, it's a good move from Maida, because he's just... Well, it's a free header, it's parried away and saved twice. It's peeled off. Yeah, okay, well, I thought he's caught ball watching there. So, 4 0 to Celtic. And we've still got 14 minutes left to play. It's 4 0 the last time that. Celtic visited Rugby Park in February 2021. Athleticism there, a great finish. I'd like to see it again to see the goalie's positioning a bit. Again, possibly a goal that could have been prevented, John. Yeah, it's uh, not strong enough defending coming from.